I shall walk across my pictures once, twice, more times than numbers. No trains, nor any soft grassy paths. For I have stars, millions and millions. What makes Yogin Chaudhary's practice so iconic is the fact that he's uh, a person who's very comfortable to talk about the context, to talk about his history, to talk about his own background it's not like you know you look at his painting and it's and it's just about the present he weaves in the past so powerfully so effectively his ability to imagine not just new compositions new expressions i'm talking about fundamental and basic visual elements which in jogin chaudhary's hands became a completely new phenomenon he emerges as an inimitable artist. Going to Shantaniketan in an ashram environment was quite daunting. And one of the first professors I met was Yogendra. He taught us how to think independently. He taught us how to look at an object in the most unique manner. His subjects are whimsical and his language for his art is absolutely iconic and brilliant. He can make the most mundane thing come alive because that's how sensitively he looks at the world. His lines, on the one hand, it has a decorative rhythmic quality. On the other hand, it has also, when it is tied to representation, an expressive potentiality. So, he uh, kind of marries these two possibilities in a very interesting manner. He brings all these subtle kind of multi-layered thoughts into the paintings without really being very pointed in his statements. One of his very, very powerful paintings is Noti Binodini, for instance. And he talks of the time that he saw Noti Binodini being performed in Delhi. And later on, he made this absolutely outstanding painting of Noti Binodini. One needs to respond to not only one kind of artistic expression, but various kinds of artistic expressions. This approach, this attitude made Jogin Chaudhuri not only a very, very unique artist and teacher, but also an institution builder. And he made it very clear that his art is not to be practiced in isolation. It needs to be shared and he made it a part of his life practice. He has also been engaged in exploring the live world of the Bengali middle class in some sense. So he has traveled from being an artist who looks at oneself and one's inner world to an artist who deals with the social, the political, and of course, the, the kind of the interpersonal within the social. You become part of his work, where you enter his whimsical, very beautiful, and sometimes quite haunting world that he creates in his paintings. I believe that art reflects the zeitgeist, and there are few practices that have done this better than Jogain Chaudhary's who through his artworks evolves the world of the post-independence India. On behalf of ARC Foundation, I am thrilled to be continuing our long-term affiliation with the Vanguard Award category of the Asia Society Game Changer Awards. Hi Jogan, congratulations. It has been such a long journey collecting your arts. It has been such a great fun. Many, many thanks to you and Best wishes for the rest of your life.